name is Jillian, and my group did urinary tract infection. So a urinary tract infection is also known as a UTI, and it is an infection in any part of your urinary system. So this includes your kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. And most infections involve the lower urinary tract, which is made up of the bladder and urethra. Um, UTIs don't always cause symptoms, but when they do, they may include cloudy or dark urine, blood in the urine, increased urgency to urinate, burning sensation as you urinate, urine that has a strong odor, and pelvic pain, which is usually in women. So there are two assessments you can do for a UTI, and those include a physical examination and asking the patient if they've had exposure to risk factors. So for the physical examinations, um, the doctor will check for tenderness, they'll look at some urine samples and survey for STIs. And um, if they've had like risk factors, the doctors will ask things like if they've had recent catheters, pregnancy or recent childbirth, neurological problems, volume depletion, frequent sexual activity or presence of a sexually transmitted infection. So UTIs usually occur when bacteria enter the urinary tract and begin to multiply in the bladder and this can lead to severe infections. They are more, they're more common in women and will usually either affect the bladder, which is known as cystitis, or infect the urethra, which is known as urethritis. So cystitis is caused by E. coli, which is a type of bacteria found in the GI tract. All women are susceptible to this because anatomically, women have a shorter di distance from the urethra to the anus and the urethral opening to the bladder. And sexual intercourse may also lead to cystitis. And on the other hand, urethritis occurs when GI bacteria is spread from the anus to the urethra. And because the female urethra is so close to the vagina, sexually transmitted infections such as herpes, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and mycoplasma can cause urethritis. So for diagnosis, there are some tests and procedures used. So this includes analyzing a urine sample. So a doctor may ask for a sample for a lab analysis to look for white blood cells, red blood cells, or bacteria in the urine. Growing urinary tract bacteria in a lab. So this test will tell your doctor what bacteria are causing your infection and which medications will be the most effective to treat it. Um, another diagnosis is creating images of the urinary tract. So ultrasound, CT scans, or MRIs may be requested by your doctor if you're having recurrent infections. And these tests will look for any abnormalities in your urinary tract that may be causing the UTIs. And using a scope to see inside of your bladder. So additionally, if you have these recurrent infections, your doctor may perform a cytoscopy to see inside the urethra and bladder. And this procedure uses a cytoscope, which is a long, thin tube that has a lens attached to the end. And it's inserted into the urethra, like into the bladder, so then the doctor can analyze these areas. And for treatment, it's pretty simple. It's just antibiotics. And symptoms will usually clear up within a few days of treatment, but be sure to continue the antibiotics until you've used them all. For prognosis, so typically people respond very well to treatment, but UTIs can be uncomfortable, but once the correct antibiotics are given, their symptoms will improve quickly. And if symptoms don't improve, see your doctor. So then UTIs are the fourth most common hospital acquired infections. 93,300 UTIs treated in acute care hospitals in 2011. 10 in 25 women and three in 25 men will have symptoms of at least one UTI in their lifetime. And 80% are caused by 
here to sell and 10 to 15 percent by staff or packers <laughs> and for follow-up so write down any questions to ask your doctor about any symptoms questions or concerns you may have and to try and then try to limit recurrence and you can do this by drinking cranberry juice and encourage fluid intake to like help dilate the urine 